Hello to all P4 students. So we are going to take a look at Book 4B, Chapter 1, Having Fun in Hong Kong Today. So in this video, we are going to teach you some of the activities that we can do in Hong Kong. And also we are going to talk about how to use will to ask and answer questions. So now I would like to give you around five seconds to think about what famous places in Hong Kong you visited before. All right, time's up. So now I would like to do a revision with all of you to refresh your memory. Okay, so on your left hand side, you can see the verb and on your right hand side, you'll be able to see the places of Hong Kong. So now we're going to fill in the blanks and match the places with the correct pictures. Okay, so the first one will be take photos on the avenues of stars. So this is uh, the avenues of stars actually located in Jim Sha Cho. Okay, so in second picture, you can see there's a crocodile. In Hong Kong, actually, we have a crocodile. And then it lives in the Hong Kong Wetland Park. So we can say visit Hong Kong Wetland Park. And it's located in Tin Shui Wai. Okay, the next one will be eat seafood. Eat seafood. So we can eat seafood in Aladdin. Okay, next one will be go hiking. So we can go hiking in Sai Kong, or of course there are more places that we can go hiking as well. All right, so next one we are having some, you can see that the, uh, the boy here, you're using uh, binoculars, okay, to watch the birds, okay, so watch the birds. So we can watch the birds in Tin Shui Wai, because in Tin Shui Wai is located in the new territories, and then the view there will be better. All right, the next one will be, we will say do water sports, do water sports. So we can do water sports in Sai Kong. So many people uh, come to our cycle to do water sports. Next one, we can say that look at the field of Hong Kong. So we can look at the field of Hong Kong at the peak. Next one will be visit Golden Bauhinia Square. We can visit Golden Bauhinia Square in one chai, in one chai. Okay, so these two activities, you can find them uh, on an island of Hong Kong. So let's see whether you can find it out correctly. Okay, so first of all, we'll be visit Disneyland. Visit Disneyland. Okay, the next one will be visit the Big Buddha. Visit the Big Buddha. So in front of Big Buddha, okay, so because of the special name, so we put the article there in front of it. So do you know where did where are they located? So both of them are actually located in Lantau Island. Lantau Island. So L-A-N-T-A-U for Lantau. Okay. All right. So now you all of, uh, we have talked about uh, different kinds of activities and places in Hong Kong. So now we have to move on to our second learning objective. We have to use future tense to talk about the future events. So to talk about the places you have, to, you will go. So we will put will after the question word where. So obviously we have to use the question word where to ask for places. And now if you look at the reply from Popo, you'll be able to see that. So imagine that today is Thursday and then Popo has planned. So she's planning to go, uh, she's planning to go to Lantau Island on this Saturday, okay, on Saturday. So that's why there's something not yet happened. So that's why Coco will use will, okay? And also Popo will use will as well in their replies and also in their questions. Okay, so Coco will ask, where will you go this Saturday? So Popo answers, I'll go to Lanta Island. So I'll hear apostrophe LL, that means I will. I will, so this is the short form. So sometimes in the conversation, we may use short form as well. So to ask about things that you will do, so this time we will not use where for the question word. So instead we will use what as the question word here. So again, because the, uh, so we know that Popo will go to uh, Lantern Island this Saturday. So that means the activities that she's planning to do not yet happened. So that's why again, we have to use future tense. So Popo will ask, what will you do there? So Popo will answer, I'll wait on the cable car. So again, we are using our here to talk about 
uh, as a future tense. So sometimes we can use will at the beginning of the question as well. So this is a type of yes, no question. So we can ask, will you visit the big Buddha? So the answer will be either yes or either no. So of course you have to pay attention to the details. Okay, so Popo's answers will be yes, I will. Yes, I will. So again, Coco asks, will you visit Disneyland? So this time the answer is no. So for no answers, negative answers, we will use no, I won't. Won't here, that means will not, will not. So sometimes again in conversation, we use short form. So this is a summary page, all right. So we use future tense, so please remember the form of that should be will plus the action word. Action word, that is the verb, okay? We don't use, uh, for the action word here, we don't change it after the word will. We won't say, I will went to Lanto Island this Saturday, that is wrong. We keep the verb as the basic form, the base form. So we will say that, I will go to Lanto Island this Saturday, okay? So we need the word will and also the action word. So we, we will also use real question to ask about things in the future. So we either give a yes or no answers to the real questions. Okay. So these are the key structure that we have go through just now. Okay, so I'm not going to spend much time on that. So you can do a quick recap by yourself or even by look, taking a look at your test book as well. Okay, so now let's do a quick uh, practice of that. Okay, so first of all, the boy asked the girl. So look at the reply from the girl. The girl said, I will eat seafood. So the answer will be, what will you do in Aberdeen? Okay, so the next one. So we have to again look at the, uh, the answer from the boys first. Go to Jim Sha Choi. So Jim Sha Choi is a place. So obviously we are asking for a place. So this time we will use the question word, where? Where will you go this weekend? So I'll go to Jim Sha Cho. I will, okay? So that means I will. So pay attention that whenever you use future tense in the question, in the answer, we have to match it as well. Okay? All right, next one. This time pay attention. This is the will question. Will you go to the peak this Saturday? The answer is no. No, I won't. So also pay attention that so after the, uh, the answer, yes or no, so please put a comma. Please add a comma there. Will you do water sports in cycle? So this time it's a yes answers. So that's why we say yes, comma, I will. All right. Okay, so next one, where will you go this weekend? So I will go to the peak. Remember, we don't say I will went to. This when is a past tense, okay? So we don't need a past tense in the future question, uh, in the future answers, okay? What will you do in Mike Poe? So I will watch the birds, okay? So now think about where will you go at the weekend, okay? This weekend, think about where, where will you go? So you can share with us later on, and also you can uh, write that down in your band book as well if you want to. Okay, so later on, your teacher is going to give you a worksheet, Campus TV worksheet, uh, to summarize what you have learned in this video. All right. So now, let's do a quick conclusion. So this, conclu uh, this video, we have, to, uh, teach, we have taught you about how to use will to ask and answer questions. Okay. And also, we have talked about uh, different places in Hong Kong as well. All right. So that's the end of our video. Thank you and bye-bye.